cybersecurity folks like free things. That's one thing I've noticed. People want things for free. Even from like creators, from companies. They want you to do things and give them stuff for free. Why? I have no clue. People of the internet, I have a question I've always asked. Why is it that everyone seems to bash the OSCP? But most of the people that bash the OSCP don't have the OSCP. And those that do have it barely ever say anything bad about the OSCP, if ever, right? That's a question I've always had, and I asked it today on LinkedIn. I was going to make an entire documentary-style video going into Reddit and all that about this question. But I posted it on LinkedIn, and people are very opinionated. So I think this post deserves an entire video for itself. I went on LinkedIn and I said, many seem to trash the OSCP, right? And now it's delivered by OFSEC, but I haven't noticed those who possess it speak negatively about it, if ever. Is this the case or am I tripping? Am I tripping, right? Do people actually speak negatively of the OSCP if they have it? We shall get into the weeds of that and I'll give you my opinion at the end. Let's get into it. Let's talk about it. Before we do, check out the newsletter. The link will be in my LinkedIn description and in the YouTube bio as well. It's an actual technical newsletter, not the BS stuff you might see elsewhere. This was posted today and it has 13,000 impressions. 92 comments. That is a lot of comments for a LinkedIn post on my page at least. But the first comment says, it's partly a sunk cost fallacy. If you've invested a ton of time and effort into something, it's hard to see its flaws. And this is a good take. I am not going to lie. It is a good take by Graham. And someone says, so what are his flaws? So you can only see its flaws when you have a bias and or haven't actually done it. Is that what you're saying? And then Graham says, no, not necessarily. That is not what I'm saying. He is saying that it's just usually not in your best interest to publicly speak negatively about the insufficiency of a certifications training material and then turn around and present that certification to others as a proof of competence in a subject. Let me just interject here and say, this man is articulate. If he speaks like this in person, just wow. But... He puts this very well, right? It's not in your best interest to speak negatively of the OSCP if you have it, because then now people look at you and like, say you spent 1600 bucks on it and you're trashing it. Why? You're putting yourself in a bad light as well. So that's the fallacy, right? Sunk cost fallacy. James Scott comes here and says, while there are cons to it, it being the OSCP, he won't hear me say them. Too afraid of the wrath of OFSEC and having my OSCP revoked. <laughs> And I think this is a valid fear, but I don't think OFSEC is just going to go revoking people's OSCP because they had negative feedback. And if you like LinkedIn beef, open this thread. There is a lot going on in this one thread, <laughs> a lot going on. But I'm not going to go at it right now because it's just people at each other's throats. I'm not going to lie. But Alyssa comes on and says he's taking the course right now and did take some other courses before. All I can say is it's just comparing apples and oranges. They all have really different points of view when it comes to teaching and they all make sense. You just have to see how best do you learn and choose accordingly. And if you are someone who likes to learn by being challenged, then you will find OFSEC certifications more appealing. If you like the try harder mentality, if you are into doing research outside of the coursework you spent $1,600 for, then you will probably find OFSEC certifications appealing, right? Adam just says, whatever this percentage is, <laughs> whatever this percentage is, is him agreeing that people that bash the OSCP don't have the OSCP. I mean, fair enough, man. Even, I don't actually know how to pronounce this name. Evan. 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 I think it's Evan. Evan. It's definitely Evan. I think it's American. But... He says, I've seen a lot of folks with the certification speak negatively about the training. OSCP remains one of the best certifications to get for breaking into the industry as a penetration tester because it has the market recognition and hiring managers know it. The majority of the complaints I've seen center around the premise that the students felt that for the cost of the training, they should not be able to pass the exam without having to seek additional. What? 
for the cost of the training, they should be able. Oh yeah, yeah, okay. I'm I'm tripping. I'm tripping. They should be able to pass the exam without having to seek additional third party resources. So yeah, most people complain that I'm dropping a bag and a half, sixteen hundred bucks. Why do I have to drop more money for other resources just to pass after spending sixteen hundred dollars? Right. That's most of people's complaints. And then he also goes on to say there's an implicit bias when you possess a credential to not want to speak negatively about it. And really, he's just reiterating or saying the same thing that Graham said. He said he said this 12 hours ago. So Graham said it three hours ago. So same thing. Some cost fallacy. You don't want to point you don't want to put yourself in a bad light by speaking negatively of something you paid so much money for. Sixteen hundred bucks. Crazy. I'm saying crazy, but I spent sixteen hundred bucks on it. Um, Justin Walters says HTB all day and true. I've heard very good things about the CPTS. I might just take it myself soon enough. Mr. Joe Held, the mayor, says I have it and do so all the time. And by do so, he means he trashes the OSCP all the time. He says I think it's an awful assessment of actual Penta skills. And from experience, the educational component was poorly presented. I went elsewhere. This has sixteen legs. Right. I'm not too sure where elsewhere is, but because the educational component of the OSCP was poorly presented, the mayor went elsewhere. Interesting stuff. This also has nine replies, so it's probably an interesting thread you want to open. But uh, Ismail goes on to say, so it is used, it used to be the best out there in any regard. Now TCM's PNPT blows it out the water in terms of content delivery on content in general. This was a question about the OSCP. Right. I asked this question because I want to know why people hate the OSCP. And people really turned this th into some TCM versus OFSEC vibes or some <laughs> PMPT versus OSCP vibes. But that is not what I was going for at all. I wanted to know what complaints people genuinely have for OFSEC. But I think we'll read the last comments and I'll tell you my opinion. Henry Georges D says, once you get it, I believe you see why the exam and course are delivered the way they are. Unlike other certifications that break things down to make them easy to understand, OFSEC does not always. Don't say it does not always. It doesn't at all. <laughs> you actually have to do a bit of research to figure stuff out to yourself, which is what happens in the real world, right? Might as well just get used to trying hard while studying because on the job, XP won't be easy. True. XP is not easy. You have to do your own research. And sometimes you have to go without research and still figure it out, right? But Cameron posted this link, OSCP versus PMPT. Um, she'd give it a read, get his opinion on it, right? And uh, those are all the comments I want to look through. There are some interesting threads in this post. And if you like LinkedIn beef, I suggest you go look at it because some people look like they were beefing. I'm not going to lie. Either they were beefing, if they don't think they were beefing, uh, maybe we can c conclude that they were very, they were having very, very assertive conversations. They are very opinionated people. But I think people trash on the OSCP because one, it is expensive. Cybersecurity folks like free things. That's one thing I've noticed. People want things for free. Even from like creators, from companies, they want you to do things and give them stuff for free. Why? I have no clue. Right. People have to make a living. They have to eat. They have to feed their kids. So people making courses and giving you value. Right. They obviously want to sell that so that they can earn value back. It's an exchange. But that's some that's something cybersecurity folks don't seem to understand or want. They just want it for free. I'm saying this because I've lost a lot of subscribers for some of the sponsored posts and videos I've done. Like, bro, do you want everything for free? That's just me ranting at this point. But another reason I think people hate the OSCP is just because it is difficult and people fail. It seems to be the most one of the most random exams, right? You could pass, you could fail. But obviously, if you put in the work, you increase your chances of passing, right? Why else do people hate OFSEC? Honestly, I think that's it because a lot of people fail. And usually after a failure is when either people post, oh, I failed the OCP. I'm going to do this and do that and try again. I have hope. I'm having fun, ETC. Or on the other hand, they post, oh, I failed the OCP. OSIC is trash. 
they don't have good customer support they did this they did that and obviously some people might have bad experiences with the support and etc i'm not invalidating that but i'm just saying how it is either someone posts a positive you know outlook after failing an exam or they just turn everything negative because maybe it might have been negative or it's them it's just them being salty all right but tell me in the comments why you think people hate the oscp right um it's a controversial thing honestly but i enjoy it i not sponsored by anyone so i can have these conversations openly until i'm a partner with someone and then maybe i'll start having some bias but for now if you want to go at each other's next and next in the comments go ahead tell me why you think so and so certification is better than so and so certification or why you hate the ocp or why you maybe love the ocp maybe you had a great experience i know i had a great experience past the first time you know i didn't have to pay an extra 400 bucks okay now i'm just rambling i'll catch you in the next one peace